Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Editor Scale Modelling. Now, welcome to this inbox browse of the, <clears throat> well, frankly, truly magnificent uh, Zukimura 32nd scale HS129B2R3. Um, it's number 17 in the Superwing series from the manufacturer. And um, the type, the Henschel, the HS129, has always uh, just been one of those aircraft, isn't it, that just captures the imagination Quite futuristic looking, I think, during the uh, during the war, all these angular sides and all the rest of it. And then um, not really kitted that often um, by the manufacturers over the years. I do remember building an airfix kit years ago. Um, and then after that, you start to get a little bit thin on the ground. I mean, there were, there were others, I think, but uh, not many. Uh, certainly nothing in 32nd scale. And then now, um, <clears throat> having been to Telford for the last couple of years, and then especially this last year in November 2019, seeing the team and the guys there from Azukimura with the sprues uh, and the mock-ups and then the completed models of this kit, it did look absolutely magnificent. Now I've built um, at least three of their kits so far. Um, the DO335, the file, uh, you'll find a full build with loads of videos of that build in Scale Modeling Now, in the Azukimura pages in Aircraft Finish Now. Um, and that was, was certainly one of the top three aircraft uh, models I've ever built in terms of its quality of engineering fit and just sheer enjoyability. It's a stunning model. And now, of course, we've got this. I mean, what a fantastic contribution uh, they have made uh, with it. So let's just get inside this enormous box that it comes in, which is great. And just look. I mean, just, so here we go. Those are all the sprues just laid out in front of us. I mean... I mean, does it get any better? I, I don't know, not really. Not, not for someone like me who's an aircraft, hardened aircraft modeler, really. Do double occasionally in other things, but mostly an aircraft model. And uh, you, you see um, a set of sprues like this. Exquisitely molded, beautifully tooled. I can't see any defects on any of the parts whatsoever. You've got this really nice um, kind of beige colour plastic, which I actually really like. I, I think it's gonna gonna work really well in terms of being able to see joints and all the rest of it, um, and just just precision across the board. So let's go on a little tour. Let's just have a look and and, and bring you inside the box. So you can see exactly what's on offer here. Um, <clears throat> all sorts of different little sections, whether they're tailplanes, elevators, all the the parts you'd expect that you could. Um, Deflect, so things like, as I said, elevators, rudders, and the rest of it, those are separate, so you can manage those. Uh, display the model as you like. Um, but it's a classic example of these Zukimura kits of starting on the inside and building out. So everything pretty much that's on the inside is, is provided, and that gives you lots of options, should you wish to try and open a few panels up, to see some of that internal detail. Um, <clears throat> some of it that's provided you're really not going to see. Um, unless you do something really odd. Um, but uh, nonetheless, um, it's there, I suppose, if you want to add it, of course. And as I said, you know, there are opportunities and possibilities, perhaps, for removing some of the panels, like some of these panels that you can see here uh, on, on the kit that have been provided separately. I think that's excellent, because for me, that's going to be, you know, a real incentive to, uh, to detail the, the parts that have been provided. So um, lovely, perfectly recessed panel line detail across the board. Um, got uh, all sorts of lovely internal cockpit detail I can see here. Um, it's massive great cannon that can fit underneath the, the nose, which I think is a big feature of the, uh, the type for sure. So that's clearly got to go on to, to the model. Great big tires, beautiful. I lo love to see those nice crisp hubs as well. Nice to see the gaiters here, the um, rubberized gaiters, nicely molded too, which is good to see. As we pass the clear parts, you get the option there to add decals to the instrument panel and do the usual sort of um, adding them, uh, painting them, adding them and so on, so they show through the dials. You also get canopy masks, which is quite useful, of course. Uh, and then of course, you've got a really perfectly clear canopy uh, to boot. Coming over to the left-hand side here, we start to move inside the aircraft and you've got all sorts of instrument bo boxes, um, uh, fuel tank, fuel cells, um, various uh, bulkheads, of course, as, as we come across the airframe. There we go, and of course, you've also got the kit instrument panel in two different ways. Again, so you could either use the kit parts 
uh, or the clear parts, depending how you want to go with that. Additional pod underneath, um, I think that's got um, further guns in, should you want to add those. Nice opportunity here for, to add the, add the flaps, uh, which, which could add further detail. Um, bombs, uh, large and small provided, which is good to see. And then you come across with the engine cowls, um, which are provided uh, for you. Different options, it seems, by the look of those. I mean, it's only got two engines, um, but it looks like we've got um, mm, multiple options in terms of the cowl arrangements there, which is good, of course. Further inside interior, bulkhead engine bearers, um, <clears throat> spinners, radiator grills, lovely detail on the little radiator grills. I don't know if you can see that there, which is great. Perfect form props, which is great. You've got these big internal structures for the wings with the fuel cells and the rest of it. I'm not sure at this stage whether you can um, get access to those. Um, interesting enough, there are no other clear parts. Sometimes in some of the Zuki Mirror kits, they provided some of the substantive parts, the separate clear parts. Not so in this release. Um, personally, that, that's no bad thing. I think it's a cost saving that's that's well well made because for me, I, I don't, don't really, I don't know what it is really. It doesn't do anything for me to have big clear parts. Um, on a model at all, it all starts to get a bit, uh, a bit academic for me. I rather like to create something that looks a bit more like the, the real thing. Um, in terms of um, uh, a replica of the real thing, operational replica. Beautiful engine details, stunning. I mean, these are massive highlights in the kit, as you can imagine. Just lovely, lovely detail. Um, the instructions are very detailed in terms of putting those together. You get the option too. Um, and it's included, you can see here in the frame, uh, the, the sprue frame itself, to actually mount the engine or one of the engines on uh, a uh, on, on a stand, if you wanted to do that. Um, I don't think there's a separate engine included. So I think you've just got to decide do you want to fit both engines. And if you don't, then you could always um, leave one out, I suppose, and have it mounted on the stand. But that might all look a bit, start to look like a, a servicing bay, really, which is not really what I would want. But you might. So good luck to you if you do. Um, interesting enough, this is not an enormous model. I think that's one of the great things, despite all these beautiful parts. It's not an enormous model. So... I think it's got to be attractive to many models. If you're into 48 scale um, and you like your German subjects, then I would definitely think about this kit. It's not big. I mean, here we go, look, here's my hand. You can see these are the main wings, the main outer sections, and these are the inner sections of the wings here. So not enormous. Um, so I think that's a definite a attraction for, for many. Um, and even if we come back here, back to the, the fuselage, um, you can see here, um, here's the whole fuselage. It's not, not enormous. Um, I don't think there's much that sticks out of the back here. And you've only got the, the nose section coming on to a little bit here. So not, uh, not, uh, not, not great in that sense. Um, so the parts, I think, are absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look at a couple of other things. Here is the little, a little mask set. As I said, little canopy masks, which are provided. The decals, um, nice decal sheet. Um, very nicely produced, all in perfect register, which is great. You get all the stencil detail, which is good. Um, and the crosses, which you can either apply or spray them as you wish. Nice to see the instrument panel here. Personally, looking at that, I actually think that looks really good. And I think given the fact this is not an enormous model, I think that's seriously worth considering applying that to the, uh, the kit panel that's provided. Um, it might sound odd if you're in 30 seconds scale and you think, no, oh, it'll never work. But honestly, I would seriously look at that. That could be a, a good option for sure. Um, and then finally, we've got the <clears throat> instruction book itself. Well, this is these are works of art. If you've ever built one of the um, Duke Mirror kits before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, not only do you get some great relevant detail for the actual aircraft, you get very nice glimpses of exactly what should be each each stage should look like um, and then as you can see here for instance with the engine this is what your completed engine should look like these are all the parts giving you a rough idea of how they're going to go together um, and then in the subsequent pages you get those broken down into exact sub assemblies that tell you exactly how they should be painted and go together with lots and lots of little tips along the way which um, I particularly like um, Vallejo colour numbers included at the front end um, or what else have we got here? 
Um, all the colour here, is blue on anything else? Um, okay, RLM colours, which is what I wanted to see. Yeah, great, you've got the RLM references there, which is great. So you can use, of course, whichever paint um, manufacturer as uh, products you like for that. Um, but it just goes through endless, you can see endless stages here, 51 pages worth. It looks incredibly daunting. I, I honestly, from my experience, if you just take it carefully, take it in the order that's suggested, all the parts are nice and clearly numbered, um, and the assembly is pretty straightforward. Lots and lots of little hints and tips here. They do these continually, these little zoom views, little uh, careful here. These are delicate parts. You get lots of little indicators here to help you with the build. So definitely not to be daunted by, but to be excited by in my my book. Absolutely love the look of this. This is this is exciting in the extreme, I have to say. <clears throat> Wonderful stuff. You can just get, if I just take you through this, you can just see exactly how it all goes together um, and uh, options uh, abound along the way. Um, so you can decide what really, I guess, you want to um, complete the internal detail. Some of it for sure is not going to be visible on the completed model, so that you might decide to just speed up the process and um, miss some of that out. On the other hand, you might think, well, to hell with it, I'll just detail it anyway, it's all provided. And um, sometimes, of course, it's not necessarily that apparent as to what exactly will be visible and what won't be. Uh, but most of it's around deciding which panels, I guess, you want to leave open as to what will be visible afterwards. So here's pictures of your completed model at the end, uh, the HS129B2, the R3 variant. Now uh, again with this great big uh, big gun underneath here. Um, again, love the scheme. Just think that's a great scheme, that kind of uh, Li Libyan scheme from Feb 43, that one. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So very attractive, isn't it? So there we go. Um, what a package, fabulous package, I have to say. Um, this is very exciting. It's great to see, and thank you so much to Tsukimura for letting us have an early sample of this kit. So we just need to decide one is going to build it. Um, <laughs> you might have to come around and rob me for it. On the other hand, um, we're going to try and get on with it as soon as we possibly can, because I know you're busting the gut to see exactly as I am how this model is going to look once it's finished um, and the journey along the way. So there we go. That's the HS129B2 R3. Henschel uh, aircraft, um, 30 second scale from Zukimura in 17 in their Super Wing series. What a kit.